Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie Peterson. I'm the author of Dude, Where's My Profit? The Accounting Finally Makes Sense mini course. This video is a continuation of accounting cycle number one. Uh, we're going to follow up with the work we did uh, in recording the daily transactions. As you recall, what you did is you entered the numbers from uh, the balance sheet from October, uh, March 31st, the end of the accounting period. This new accounting period starts on April 1st. So in it, all the balances have to be transferred. For example, 700 in cash, right there. Accounts receivables, 480. Notes payables, 1,000, and so forth. Now you, you can see that the numbers end up on the increased sides of the accounts. Then what you did is you recorded the daily transactions using double entry accounting. The daily transactions are interactions between our company and someone outside of our company, like a bank, like a customer, like a supplier, and so forth. Once all of the daily transactions have been recorded, the accounts are then balanced. So you see we have all these different balances. Where there's more than one number in the account, you need to draw a balance line all the way across the account. If there is a, uh, a number already in the T account, you can just leave it there for, with the balance doesn't have to have another balance okay now part two what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, two adjustments and one correction to demonstrate what takes place after all the daily transactions have been recorded and balanced now an adjustment is not an uh, a transaction that involves anyone outside of the company it simply means we're transferring numbers uh, from uh, several accounts into uh, the correct balances and um, remember, these numbers that we're going to be coming up with now will be used to make our prepare our financial statements. And they, of course, have to be correct. All right, let's start out with our first adjustment. Inventory of supplies is $90. Now, at the end of the accounting period, you went out to your supply room and you took an inventory. Obviously, you counted the supplies that were left over and you discovered that there were $90 worth on hand. Well, current supplies account shows a balance of 220. It should be a balance of 90. So how do we go from 220 down to 90? We credit it. Don't forget, forget credit means the right side of the account. For 130, and when you balance these two accounts, two numbers, then they become uh, the final balance, which is up to date. We've got a credit. We need a corresponding debit. And we're going to go down to supplies expense, 130 and record it there. So there's your adjustment. We're simply transferring monies out of the supplies account down to supplies expense. Now, the next transaction, telephone bill for $40 to be paid in May, had not been recorded. Uh, the first thing you want to ask yourself is why did you receive the telephone bill to be paid in May when we're working in April? Well, it's because we used up the utility in April, so therefore it has to be in the uh, financial statements for April and uh, even though we have not received the cash. So what we're going to do is we owe it for the month of May. So we're going to, first of all, put it into utility expense for $40. And because we owe it, we're going to put it up here under accounts payable for $40. And then finally, we're going to depreciate our equipment for another period. Uh, the depreciation for April is $500. So what we're going to do is simply add it to the accumulated depreciation account. Don't forget. This is a contra account. It increases as a credit and decreases as a debit. And when, when we balance the account, that will be subtracted from the $5,600 on the balance sheet to give us our book value. One more step before we can do our adjusted trial balance is we've got to balance these accounts. The ones that are already, the ones that received the adjustment or the correction. This new balance here is 160 I'll put a B beside it. This balance here has been corrected. B, put a balance beside it, and then we have to balance this account here. Fifteen hundred dollars. The balance. Okay. So we've got everything taken care of here. Now we're ready to do our adjusted trial balance. Now you did a daily trial balance for. Uh, the daily transactions, now we're going to do an adjusted trial balance 
So what we're going to do is simply transfer these balances into the second column of figures. Remember, if it's a debit here, it goes in the debit column here. So cash is showing a balance of 410. Accounts receivable is showing a balance of 480. Supplies is showing a balance of 90. Don't forget that's the one that's updated now. Equipment is showing a balance of $5,600. That hasn't changed. However, what has changed is accumulated depreciation. Don't forget it has a, increases as a credit. It's a balance now of $1,500. Our accounts payable has changed from $120 to $160, so let's get that in there. My note payable, no change there, so that's brought over as $1,000. Retained earnings is $700. We'll bring that over as a credit. And capital stock of $3,000 is going to be brought over as a credit. And our dividends will be brought over. Don't forget your dividends is a contra account as well. It increases as a debit and decreases as a credit, so we're going to enter that in the debit column. Our service revenue has not changed, $1,340. Our depreciation expense now is $500. And my accumulated depreciation, there's my depreciation expense here. Oops, I forgot to record that. This is where the adjustment. Don't forget you had a debit and a credit, but mistakes are okay. This is my depreciation expense of $500. My utility expense is now $40. My wages expense has not changed, it's $180. My ads expense um, is a balance of 40. My supplies expense, now this has changed. Before it was a balance of zero, now we have a balance of 130. And last but not least, rent expense is a balance of 200. Now, when you add all the debits, you should get 7,700. When you add up all the credits, you should get 7,700 as well. So now what we've done is we've done part two of recording the adjustments and the corrections. We first record them in our ledger, we rebalance the accounts, and then we do our adjusted trial balance. Now just as a note, our video number three is the preparation of the financial statements, and we will use these numbers here to prepare our financial statements because they're completely up to date. Okay? If you would like to see some other videos, Please go to www.dudewasmyprofit.com and thanks for viewing.